How about mythology? Rumors, lies, fairy tales? Mythology is one of the primary motivations for cultural development. Maybe it is. What's that got to do with filming a plan? Exactly! What does that mean? I don't know! Congrats on the 11 Second Club win. I'm Brendan Gottlieb with Animation Mentor. I'm an animator at Disney. I've worked on movies like Moana, Record Mouth 2, Frozen 2, Raya, and Encanto. So let's dive into your shot here. By the way, it's looking awesome. Um, really great work. I love these two characters. I love just the energy in the shot. You got some great poses going here. I love that you've given them like these kind of similar outfits. They're like in the military or sailors or something. It just kind of gives it all a little bit more context. Um, even if it doesn't, even if we don't quite know exactly what's going on. Um, but I like those details that you've given them. So a couple of thoughts off the bat, I think, are clarity or things that need to be worked on is, is clarity. And for one, I didn't How even apology? know the first time or even first two times I watched this, I didn't even know that he was filming a plant. I didn't know there was a plant here. I didn't know that this was a, I guess it's a phone or a tablet. It's almost like too big to be a phone and too small to be a tablet. So it's a bit ambiguous. And I would say be specific with that. But honestly, just we have to be a lot more clear. Because when he says filming a plant here, I kind of got lost in like, what, what is what is he even talking about? I don't know what's going on anymore. Um, I never quite knew what was going on. So... Essentially, let's take this plant, let's move it over a little bit, give it, I mean, you kind of have already textured it a little bit, like you've given it some color, give it more color, really make it pop in this shot a lot. And so when we are seeing this first establishing shot, our eyes are immediately going to go to that plant and then we're going to go to these characters and we're going to see that, oh, he's filming this plant. And then with this phone, Give it like that, um, you know, like the iPhone camera on the back of it or something like that. Or maybe it has like all three of those dots. I don't know. Um, something that shows some, like it's specifically this is an iPhone and he's filming with it. You know, we have to show that camera part of it. Or what I would suggest is make it an actual like handheld um, video camera. So you may want to go that direction because that's even more specific. That's even more clear and makes more sense for this shot. You really want to, you really want to establish exactly what's going on from the very first frame. So then the audience is not left guessing or questioning while they're trying to enjoy your animation. So um, from there, a couple of things about this guy is. No apology. I think he gets too angry. This pose, this expression looks too angry, and you get there, he gets there too quick. Rumors, lies, fairy tales. Because we want him to be, I think, angry here because he's kind of responding to the other guy being disrespectful of mythology. So I would save this for a little bit later, and I would probably stay. I'd stay more in this range here with the eyes and the brows and then Rumors, lies. i think on lies you can there go you know. to this pose so get here earlier get here sooner Lifetime fairy tales and Here's then rumors lies fairy tales and then right around here i would love to see his expression change to be more angry and he's like he kind of looks his eyes kind of dart to the side um, and he, he looks over at this guy like, I'm going to show him a piece of my mind. Um, and then he turns around. So I kind of want to see that progression from like a kind of innocent, he's really questioning, like, what about mythology? To once he hears, um, First lie. once he hears lies that he gets, then he goes into that like deadpan, like, what? What is he talking? Like, what? What is he talking about? And then, nice fairy tale. when he says fairy tales, then during this kind of 
quiet moment here. I, I, I'd love to see that deadpan turn into like anger and looking over at the character. Um, oh, I think that'd be a nice progression there. Motivation for cultural development. And then, Maybe it is. What's that this is all really cool. To do with filming. I love all this. Wow. One thing is um, clarity again. I, do with film. I, I thought he like grabbed it out of his hand. Because then his hand is like clenched here and it looks like he kind of like throws it on the ground. Exactly! But then he has it again in the end, so he didn't grab it and throw it on the ground. <laughs> and then you also kind of lose it here. It's almost like it's not even drawn on that on in this hand. Um so I think on filming, you may want to just. Um, I, mean, I love how you're like pushing this pose so much. It's really great. But you really. I feel like we should. I mean, if it's if it's a. Um, if it's a bigger, bulkier, handheld video camera, then I feel like that'll be clearer because we'll still see this big, bulky thing in his hand rather than this, which if we're watching him, we're not looking here and this can just look like there's nothing there in his hand anymore. So it'll look like he already grabbed it. Exactly. What does that mean? I don't know. So that's probably the easiest solution is just to give him a, a big bulky camera, um, or just don't have him point at the don't have his don't have him point in his finger touch the camera. Either have his finger only get like this far, or hold on, something froze. Uh, whoops. Okay. Sorry. Um, only have his finger get maybe like this far. Or maybe he points at his chest or something like that. So. Exactly. What does that mean? I don't know. And then on this last pose, I feel like we can get more specific with this. I don't know. I don't know. I would oh. love to have him feel more exasperated and like, I don't know, like, I'm as confused as you are, but I'm really frustrated about it. Um, so th this kind of looks like he looks upset at the other guy, but really I'd like him to feel a bit more flustered. Um, so you could definitely, you know, uh, push, push these eyebrows uh, up more. Push those corrugators in, um, and then widen, widen the eyes as well. I think definitely widening, widening the eyes is going to help a lot. So. I don't know. But yeah, it's really nice work though. Um, really strong poses. Really great energy in this shot. What's that? Um, I love all the all the mouth poses you have. For these guys, they're super appealing, um, super clear. So really, really great job up. on all that stuff. Um, so yeah, nice job on the win, Timmy. And um, hope to see more from you.